So my phone rang a couple weeks ago. Hello? Oh, hey, what's up, Filmic Pro guys? You need beta testers for the new Log version 2? Yeah, man, sure, I'm in. If you're new to our channel, we're all about sharing mobile filmmaking tools, tips, and techniques for indie filmmakers, YouTube creators, mobile journalists, and really anyone who wants to create better video using their smartphone. So yeah, this isn't the 1990s. They actually didn't call me. They did what most companies do. They sent me a DM on Twitter, and I said, yeah. Hey guys, Blake Calhoun here. If you follow our channel, you know that we're big proponents of Filmic Pro. And so when I heard about this new log version too, I was interested to say the least. A quick note here, I did beta test this new version of the app, but this is not a sponsored video. I bought the app and I have not been paid by Filmic Pro. So what's up with this new log version too? In the simplest of terms, you're now getting a lot more dynamic range. With the most current phones, you're now approaching 12 stops of dynamic range, two and a half stops more than the native camera. No, I didn't shoot this footage. It was provided to me by Filmic Pro. It was shot somewhere in New Zealand. You might see a hobbit or something bouncing around, but this is a pretty nice real world example of the dynamic range. Now here's the really cool part is this not only works with the newer phones, but it works with the older phones too. So with an iPhone SE or an iPhone 6S, you're looking at about one to one and a half more stops of dynamic range, up to 10 stops. We'll talk more about how they're doing this in a moment. So yeah, this looks like it'll breathe new life into my old iPhone 6S. Now, if only it would make the battery last more than one hour. And there's even good news for our Android friends. Testing the Samsung Note 9, you can get up to nine stops of dynamic range. That's approximately two more stops than the base DR. So how are they doing this? I'm not an engineer or an app developer, but they've created something called gamma vectorization. This is all done through computational methods, meaning all software based, not hardware. And that's why older devices can benefit. The limitations end up being more about the speed of the phone, the memory size, the GPU. I'm also told there's magic fairy dust sprinkled on for good measure, so there's that too. So this update is for Filmic Pro version 6.8 and later. And you can easily check that on the app by hitting the information button under settings. And beyond the 6.8 update, to get the log features, you need to have the cinematographer kit. This kit is an in-app purchase that's an upgrade to the software. If you watch any of my videos about Filmic Pro, you know I highly recommend doing this. It's really the best way to create more cinematic looking footage with your smartphone. And so with this update, you now get a nice new log curve, log version two. You can see that here in the histogram. As compared to dynamic here, which by the way, we never use. It's way too contrasty. And then natural, which has a more standard Rec. 709 look in video terms. And as we've shown, less dynamic range compared to log version two. And I should mention that there's also a new version of flat. It's flat version two. And I use flat quite a bit. It's often a nice way to go if you don't want to do heavier color grading. And typically speaking, you get lower video noise levels. Although now with this new version of Log, noise is not near as much of a problem as it was before. And one more really cool thing to this update is they now offer higher bit rates. Filmic Extreme was always 100 megabits per second. Now it goes up to 140 megabits per second. This is device dependent. In my testing, I got between 125 and 135. So all in all, this is a pretty impressive update to the app. The specs are great. Now let's go look at some real world footage. Went to see the Nutcracker and pulled out Filmic Pro to shoot some test footage. So the highlights are close to clipping, but you can see into the darker curtains, which is really nice. And then with light color grading, you can still see details in the curtains and the highlights have come down just a tad. Highlight clipping though is something you really need to pay attention to. Now here's the same thing shooting with natural. So you really can't see into the curtains there at all. And if you brought that up, it would get pretty noisy. And you also still have clipping in the highlights. Now this was shot with an iPhone 8 Plus, and I'm guessing I've got about two stops of dynamic range added using Log. So you may be thinking, how does Log version two compare to Log version one? Went out and shot some test footage with two iPhone 8 Pluses, one shooting Log version one and the other one shooting Log version two. 
The first thing you'll notice is that Log version 2 is less contrasty and more saturated. My biggest complaint shooting the original Log version was that sometimes even during the daylight you could get noisy footage in the shadows. While sometimes that's just inherent to shooting Log even on other cameras, it was more pronounced shooting it on the iPhone. But now you can see into those shadows a lot better. Saturation is a side effect of the new process, the gamma vectorization. It's actually preserving more chromatic information. Now this comparison was interesting. I don't know what's causing the different lens flares. Both the exact same phone with no third-party lenses added. But I have to say that I like the Log version 2 better. Notice how contrasty the tree is. This is log version one and the sun up in the right hand corner. Then how low contrast this is and more saturated. And also notice the sun. Log version two is just more pleasing, even in this uncolor graded look. And speaking of color grading, look how it's holding those shadows under the bridge. This was shot midday, one of the worst times to shoot outside, which I did on purpose. Really hard shadows. And then I really like how this basketball hoop graded. And you can still see the detail in the bark of the tree there. So now heading back to my studio to shoot indoors. By the way, this actress is amazing. I've got her agent's contact info if you want to shoot with her. Note this first shot is with the iPhone tele lens. Now back to the wide lens here. These shots appear a little more similar than the exterior shots, more of a controlled lighting environment. But log version two just looks like it has more information in the image. And now here are these shots before and after color grading. Did not do any denoising or sharpening. And the noise levels are pretty good shooting inside. So if you watched my last video, I compared three Blackmagic cameras, and on that same shoot, I shot the iPhone 2. We mix and match cameras in our projects all the time, and so I like to see how they compare. The log from these two cameras couldn't look more different. But when they're color graded, they can look remarkably similar. The main visual difference probably be in the depth of field. The Blackmagic camera is much shallower. But in this test, the dynamic range and the noise levels are pretty similar. You could set up an iPhone as a B camera, like a wider shot, maybe a side angle, against a higher end, more traditional camera, and then match them in post-production. So this is a lot to take in, especially if you're new to Filmic Pro, and we have a lot more to show, but we're gonna do that in a part two of this video. In there, we're going to show some more comparisons between natural and log, and also high contrast scenes between log version one and log version two. We also made another short film using an iPhone, Filmic Pro log, this donut box, and a flashlight. Oh, and we shot at nighttime, something that before this update, I would have never, ever, ever done. And I might not do it again either, but definitely a fun test and we'll show that in part two of this video. So please be sure to subscribe if you're not already to catch that. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.